What happens when you interview your friends about things you've never actually asked? Well, we're going to find out in our very first info view. So, <clears throat> so as the interviewer, I've prepared some questions Shonda has no idea about, and it's about a topic that I think is true to both of us and we've come up with, but again, she has no idea what the real questions are. All right, so don't worry, have no fear, okay. nothing crazy in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It rhymes. I have this one question for you um, on the topic of the less obvious side of motherhood. So my first question for Shauna is, what are three things you feel need to be discussed more as you become a mother? The fact that you don't have to feel bad if you don't breastfeed exclusively, mm -hmm. because I feel like it's it's a good thing. It's great, of course. It's so pushed that breast breast milk is breast breast milk, breast milk is breast that the other side of it where it's like not everybody can just breastfeed as easily some people have trouble some people have issues some people choose not to you know and then your baby is like your baby's still okay you know what i yeah, mean like yeah. yes you want to give them the nutrients you want to do what's best but i think the other side of that needs to be talked to more like talked about more sorry just because it's just you know like i think a lot of moms feel guilty or feel bad if it doesn't work out for them or if they're like oh i chose not to and it's like why didn't you do it yeah you know is it a selfish reason so i think that um yeah, I don't think it should be such a negative stigma around that, if that makes sense. That's true. Um, vaccinations. Mm -hmm. I it's myself have one. gone through a lot of like feelings and emotions about what I truly want to do around vaccinations. And I think um, a lot of other moms, too, right? Mm -hmm. So um, just vaccination, why you want to vaccinate your child, why you don't, um, you know, just where you stand on that. What else? Taking time for yourself. Mm. right because the whole good mom ad mom it's like what does that even mean you're learning as you go if you truly love your kid and want the best for your kid that's good enough that's a good yeah, mom yeah, you yeah. know what i mean but i think just um like i've had times where i felt really guilty taking time for myself or being happy that i had a break and it was mm. kind of like whoa like should i feel that way yeah and i you've actually helped me to realize that it's okay <laughs> so like it's all right even yeah. spend time with um Odin, like alone and not feel guilty right like giving other people in your life that time that you give to your child mm -hmm. um so yeah just taking that time for yourself i think we get burnt out so easy and stressed and it would be nice to talk with other moms and really just be like it's okay to love yourself too <laughs> who is your celebrity mom inspiration I'm gonna say Jennifer Lopez because she stays working and her kids are always with her and she she just seems to balance it all out. Who's your celebrity father inspiration? Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna have to say Puff Dad. P. Diddy. Oh, true, true, true. He's a good dad. Yes. Biological, not biological. That man will take care of you. <laughs> so my next question is self-esteem. Okay. We don't really talk about that part. No. So how would you rate your self-esteem out of 10? Before you were a mother. Oh, okay. Seven. Okay, and then what about during pregnancy, your self-esteem? Eight. So why did you feel, why did, was it lower before pregnancy? That's a good question. I, I just feel like it was. I don't know. I think I was overthinking like so many things in my life where I needed to be, what I needed mm. to do. And then once I was pregnant, it was kind of like, I felt good in a way. Like I, I had a good pregnancy. So I felt good. It was like amazing experience. It was new. It was like, whoa, it's so magical in a way. Yeah. You know, like I felt like a super woman. I was like, wow, <laughs> women are like powerful. Like women are amazing. Yeah. So like I felt just honored to be in that group of women who can give birth, right? Like to know that, whoa, I can get pregnant. Those type of things are very serious, yeah. right? Because you never know until it happens. So I just felt good. I felt good. And I got time off work. <laughs> <laughs> Best pregnancy photo shoot. Oh, Drea, I'm, she actually yeah. killed it. She killed them. She was yeah, pregnant. She did. She did. She, she did. did. She did. Where do you find inspiration to keep it all together? Aside from okay. your son, now that you have him, yeah. Um, I think for parents, it's probably easiest to say my child. But yeah. other than your child, where do you find the inspiration to keep it all together? Uh, my upbringing, because I had a single mom. My dad was in my life, but mm -hmm. obviously when you live with your mom, that's who you really grow up to see. I had a single mom who worked hard with three kids, and you know she went through a lot. And in the end, she overcame those issues. And like as a family, we got to see her grow. Mm -hmm. And you know 
you, like what she went through affected us as her children. Yeah. So just to see like, you know, that she overcame that and like, you know, it was motivating. So now, and then just seeing that like, it wasn't all good. It was like, you know, there was bad there too. So for yeah. me now it's like, I'm inspired to not have my child. I know you said not him, but <laughs> to not have him, not just be a good mom, but not have him go through the things that I knew affected me negatively. Like okay. I want my, to do my best for him. I want to continue to grow as a human being, as his mom. And I want him to just live a good life. So for me, it's more of my upbringing than it is looking at him and saying, I want the best for you. Yeah. But it all connects. It yeah. connects at the end of the day. For sure, for sure. Yeah. No, that's... So that's inspired me to just, you know, know what I want to be and not, and know what I don't want to be. Some say when you become a parent, um, there's no time for yourself. And I know you touched on this before. Yeah. What's your thoughts on self-care as a new mom? It's very, very important. I didn't have an appetite. Like... If you're not if you're not healthy, you can't take care of anybody else, mm -hmm. you know. Or you're gonna burn out. Where you know you then have to take a break from your responsibilities. Three words to describe your baby's fashion. Aww. Mommy, you picked it. <laughs> <laughs> and there you have it. Our first info view with Shauna about the less obvious side of motherhood and some little fun stuff.